So this, I'm demonstrating the hand position of your non-dominant hand when using the pointer plus in electroacupuncture. The key is once the needle is inserted, to pay attention to what you're feeling. What you want to do, this is my left hand, my non-dominant hand. This is the right hand where I'm using the pointer plus. For my right hand, my thumb will go on the metal plate, and this is the button which ignites the pointer plus. You can see that the light comes on. So this is the best position and most comfortable position to use. Then with my non-dominant hand, over the needle, what I do is I'm placing my hand around the needle, around the tissue of the needle, and where I will depress the tissue, like so, to take out my tissue pull. Some of the needle, part of the needle is actually contacting my hand. That's fine. What that does, that directs electron flow into the muscle. In this case, it's the motor point of the lateral deltoid. So, I depress my hand like this. This is the position, and at the same time, I press the button, and you can see we get the contraction of the deltoid. Now, if you're feeling too much feedback in your thumb, that means that the intensity is a little too high or the needle isn't deep enough in the muscle. If that's the case, you will, in, you will insert the needle even farther. That means it's closer to the fascia. We need to penetrate the fascia, get right into the muscle belly, right near the, the neuromuscular junction where the nerve attaches to the muscle. The other thing, if you're not putting enough pressure with your non-dominant hand, if you're out here, you'll still get a contraction. And in this case, the deltoid is an easy one to elicit. If you're in the glutes or in the quadriceps, you really need to make sure that your non-dominant hand is applying pressure, directing the needle closer to that neuromuscular junction. So when you stimulate it, you can get a clean response. Any questions, feel free to email me.